morning and Robert, you were talking about that is the astronomical summer that we are. You know, discussing. our um, our producer Nathan will love what I'm about to say. We are now within the season of the year that will contain some razor Razorback football. <laughs> yes, he just approved well, of that he, in my ear. A lot of people are happy As, to hear uh, that. The football, football will take the field in just a couple of months. It'll still be summer, so for you Razorback fans, it's coming. Uh, and so is the uh, hot temperatures that we've been dealing with. Unfortunately, it's going to stay warm, but it now is summer, so that you shouldn't be surprised by that. Fayetteville's nice and quiet tonight. The square, five months away from now, the square will be lit up, lights of the Ozark. So <laughs> as we talk about the first day of summer, uh, we'll be getting ready for the holidays and the square will be all lit up. 92 today, six degrees above the average, which is 86. It was 100 degrees today in 1953. Nice and quiet in Fort Smith as well. We also were slightly above average, but the average is up to 91 in Fort Smith. So, you know, just three degrees above the average isn't too much, but that's still a warm, warm day. Thankfully not 106 like it was in 1936. Great day to hit the pool tomorrow if you're going to celebrate the first day of summer uh, with a nice mix of clouds and sunshine. Hot though, Northwest Arkansas by the evening will be in the uh, lower 90s. Same thing in the River Valley. Another warm, toasty summer day uh, that we can look forward to. Still warm out there right now. It's definitely an air conditioning night uh, inside your home. Uh, 70s and still a lower 80 or two sneaking around in northwest Arkansas. A widespread lower 80s at this hour in the River Valley. It'll take a while for us to dip down into the lower 70s for our morning lows. Things are quiet for our area, but big time storms this evening across the uh, lower portions of southern Louisiana into southern Georgia as well. All with this flow around this area of low pressure that's slowly creeping its way back to the west and it will do so over the next day or so and could actually lower our temperatures just a little bit won't make it as oppressive outside tonight will be nice and quiet a couple of high clouds tomorrow morning associated with a decaying thunderstorm complex that'll fall apart uh, probably before it even reaches Tulsa but we'll get clipped by some of the cloud cover throughout the day tomorrow models are also suggesting we could get a couple of sprinkles early Thursday morning while most of us are asleep. Uh, this is the first run of the model to show this. I, I need to see some more consistency in future runs before I add those uh, rain chances into the forecast. And then by noon Thursday, we're back to sunshine and warm temperatures. You can see our lows tonight around where they should be. Thanks to all those clear skies, 60s and 70s. Tomorrow we will rebound quickly right back into the 80s and lower to mid 90s. Extended forecast pretty rain free over the next seven days. That system that's moving toward us from the west could, or from the east could push the ridge away from us and we would be on the edge of that ridge. If that happens, usually we get some systems that ride along that ridge and that's why there's that rain chance Saturday evening and Sunday evening as well. River Valley, pretty much the same thing, just hot. That's just the way it's gonna stay for the next couple of days. We could flirt with 100 degrees on Sunday. Meredith Mulkey is coming up next. She has all your hog news after the break.